A U.S. state pays 132,000 government workers and retirees at least $100,000 each. Isn't that wonderful? Janitors clean up with paychecks of 143,000, bus drivers nearly a quarter million dollars. WND reports by Real Clear Wire Adam Adrzejewski. There are 132,188 public employees and retirees in the state of Illinois who earn $100,000 or more last year. Auditors on OpenTheBooks.com found almost 500 educators in Illinois public schools had salaries between $200,000 and $439,000. Small towns city managers made up to $341,300, and three doctors at the University of Illinois in Chicago earned between $1 million and $2.1 million. This is as crime increases, test scores drop among public school students, and inflation decimates private sector paychecks. This does not stop the Illinois public employee class from living a good life. Well-paid barbers working for state corrections trimmed off $104,000. Janitors at the Ch Chicago Transit Authority cleaned up with $143,634 paychecks. Bus drivers in Chicago picked up $242,812 in pay and suburban community college presidents made $418,677 we found from the payroll data. In 2021, 26,904 educators earned six-figure salaries while 16,592 retirees pocketed $100,000 pensions. That's at, as test scores dropped with only 31% of students reading at grade level. That's terrible. There were 18 school superintendents who made $300,000, and another 18 retired school superintendents received $300,000 in retirement pensions. Crime is out of control in Chicago, Illinois, not because police and fire employees are underpaid, but because of political will. The Chicago police and fire departments paid 600 employees between $200,000 and $480,000 last year. There were 41 streetlight repair workers who made between $100,000 and $196,123, and 61 city paint sign painters who made up to $145,341. The boss at the city auto pound collected $124,783 in pay, while the janitors there made six figures up to $125,783. In Chicago Public Schools, then-CEO Janice K. Jackson served until June 30, 2021, made $361,762 to $289,923 in salary with $62,839 in benefits. Isn't that beautiful? Her salary alone exceeded the pay of the U.S. election of Secretary of Education, $203,500. The high pay was not tied to student achievement because student scores dropped. Just 26% of 11th graders students perform at grade level in math, and 70% of students could not read at grade level. There are plenty more examples of the reckless use of taxpayer dollars with no consideration given to, George, uh, to job performance. And this is from, from Real Clear Policy on, uh, from Real Li uh, Clear Wire on WND. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.